What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC 2023 video. Today we're going to be making a Regulation D moveset guide video. So I made some moveset guide, you know, or not moveset guides, but like some speculative uh, videos about movesets for uh, the Hisui Pokemon uh, once we got some leaks from Pokemon Home, uh, however, or data mine, I guess. However, now that they're legal and we have greater context for how these things should be used, I want to do sort of a redux on all these. So today we're going to be covering Basque Legion, of course, male and female. But if you guys want me to cover any Pokemon in particular, be sure to comment it down below. And I'm going to try to release one of these every day until we've covered basically every new Pokemon. And then we might do some like other Pokemon that are just legal and reggae nowadays. So yeah, anyways, uh, if you guys enjoy, leave a like, subscribe, and let's get into this. So Basculation is actually a really cool Pokemon. Uh, it's uh, a Pokemon with some pretty impressive stats, and it's it's it feels like it's built for its role, right? So it is its main stab is going to be Wave Crash, of course. Wave Crash is one of the best moves in the game right now. It is Water type Flare Blitz, 120 base power, physical move. And with this thing's build, with high HP, 112 attack, and a decent speed stat after Swift Swim, uh, it's it's actually going to be able to throw off quite a few wave crashes uh, at little expense to itself. Despite that, I do still think that the Life Orb is a good idea. However, uh, a clear amulet wouldn't be a bad option either, but I think you need that Life Orb uh, to pick up max damage. So... Uh, some benefits of using Basculation on your team are going to be the fact that it is part ghost type, allowing it to avoid fake outs. Um, it's going to be a very strong Swift Swim user, uh, being able to spam its stab move with Terrestrialization in rain, sort of like how Palafin would play, but uh, this is going to be a little bit more niche of an option. Uh, and it is going to have that move last respects, which it's going to gain 50 base power for every time for every party member that's fainted. So let's say that. Basque Legion is the last Pokemon in your party, and you're facing down a Cresselia, right? Let's just go ahead and throw this in the calc, right? Let's let's throw up a Basque Legion, just the Life Orb set that I made. And you're facing a Cresselia, one of the bulkiest Pokemon in the game. And let's, you know what, let's even give it like a Terra Fairy. Let's give it a Terra Fairy, because that is a, a decent Terra type it might Terrasilize into. So now, it's not even super effective. However, if your last respects has one, two, three partners that are down, it is doing 68 to 81 percent on a neutral hit versus Cresselia, one of the bulkiest Pokemon in the game. That's a two shot, right? Obviously, if rain is up, then you want to click Wave Crash, but you'll take far more recoil from that. And if it's not terastalized, that Cresselia would have gone down one partner ago. <laughs> That's pretty absurd. Actually, would it KO? Okay, I was going to say, if it KOs after just one boost, that'd be insane. But yeah, if, if you lose two partners, uh, that last respects is a one-shot on Cresselia, which is really nice. Uh, of course, that becomes a 150 base power move after two partners are down um, because it's, you know, 50 plus 50 plus 50. But if three partners go down, if it's the last Pokemon left in the field, you have a 200 base power move. It is absurd. Anyways, yeah, uh, let's get into the actual move sets now. So, uh, Basque Legion... Like I said, it has a high HP stat, which will allow it to throw off more recoil moves with less uh, drawback. But I still think that Life Orb is a good idea. What you can actually do to optimize Life Orb recoil um, is going to be to give it a 28 uh, HP investment, which will get you 199 HP. Uh, the reason we do that instead of just going 252, 252 is because with uh, 139 speed, you're going to be outspeeding Regieleki. If you really want to, you can take these two out and throw it in there. But I think you get a little bit more out of, you know, being able to eat a hit slightly better. Um, and it's not like you get much out of hitting 140 instead of um, 139. So yeah, under Swift Swim, you're outspeeding Regieleki. You're never going to be able to outspeed Iron Bundle, unfortunately. You need to hit 155 under Swift Swim to do that. Uh, but you can make up for it with some of the partners that I recommend. You're going to want to get as high of an attack stat as possible while still, you know, getting these. And like I said, if you want to get one more point, go ahead, go for it. I just like fancy numbers. I, I like this spread because it's fancy looking. Uh, but yeah, for the most part, you're going to be tossing off wave crashes uh, in rain. Obviously, you have to be careful for a Pokemon like Gastron. But even like resisted hits, even if we go to like Rillaboom, which is going to be one of the best Pokemon in the game. Because Rillaboom is now uh, no longer having access to Grassy Glide, uh, it means that Rillaboom is subject to getting hit by an attack if the rain is up. So if we Terrastalize right here with our Life Orb and set up the rain, you can see that your Wave Crash is doing 73% maximum to a max HP Rillaboom. 
uh, with four defense investment. And that's going to be how a lot of them are built, uh, if you know, I, I think so at least. Uh, so that is a significant chunk of health. I, I can't lie. Obviously, let's say you're in like an adaptability set, then yeah, you're just going to like, you know, you're just going to do a lot more. But uh, for the most part, we want to run Swift Swim. Uh, I do have an adaptability set if you guys want to try it out. But yeah, so that is that is very powerful. Um, other notable Pokemon that you're going to be able to hit with this. Like I said, Regieleki is a Pokemon where if it's not running Focus Sash, you're just straight up one shotting it without the terrestrialization. Your Aqua Jet even does a lot. Uh, 66 to 78 percent. Other notable Pokemon. Uh, I think Amoongus is actually going to be very important in this format uh, because of uh, the existence of Urshifu Rapid Strike, which is one of the best Pokemon in the game. Wave Crash does a little under half. If you Terrastalize, you're actually going to be two-shotting opposing Amoongus, which is very big. And if you really want to, you can actually run Terra Grass over Terra Water. I just, for now, I believe that um, having that Terra Water is necessary to picking up the KOs that you really need. Uh, and yeah, Last Respects is also a very solid stab option. I already showed the sort of damage it can do. Um, so I don't think there's anything in particular I really want to cover. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you're hitting basically everything for as much damage as you need. Moving over to the Choice Band set. Um, this is just adamant max speed, max attack. I would actually recommend Jolly, to be honest. I think you still want to outspeed things under Tailwind. But if you want absolute maximum damage, go adamant. Um, but yeah, let's look at the Jolly set. So Basket Legion. Banded, let's give it a Jolly Nature instead because I really can't recommend Adamant. If I'm being real, I can't recommend Adamant. I just wanted to hype it up. Uh, yeah, Terrastalize Water once again is a very solid option. If the rain is up, your Wave Crash is doing 70% um, to Amoongus, which is a lot. Um, if you're going up against that Rillaboom that I had mentioned earlier, you're actually coming close to one-shotting it off of a roll, so any chip damage will be uh, very much appreciated. And that last respects is actually gonna be doing a decent amount of damage, um, even unboosted. So like that Cresselia, uh, that last respects will be doing 50% to it. And if you lose even one partner, if we go ahead and add that uh, plus one effect, uh, you're actually just one shotting Cresselia outright. So yeah, um, I would say one more advantage to this set over the uh, other set is that if you are still running a rain team, it does do slightly better into Trick Room Ursaluna. Because Ursaluna is, you know, super, super strong um, and super, super bulky, uh, it's going to have to be hit by priority moves in a lot of situations. So yeah, that uh, Aqua Jet terrestrialized in the rain is going to come close to uh, one-shotting it most of the time. It's a roll to KO. 50% uh, chance to Oko after burn is actually pretty big. So if you want to do that, that's actually not bad. And I think that that's a legitimate use case for this, but I would still recommend Swift Swim 99% of uh, the situations you're going to be running this thing. So yeah, uh, these are the two sets. I also have some partners I want to get into in a second. But as far as Basket Legion F, I think for the most part, we're going to see more Basket Legion Mail just because it's going to be able to hit things uh, with that 112 base attack and wave crash. Basket Legion Female, despite being able to work around Intimidate, which is a very common um, thing in this generation, especially with the introduction of Landris, Oh yeah, you hit Landorus, you one-shot Landorus. There is no Landorus that eats the hit that you're going to throw out with it. Uh, but yeah, Basket Legion, despite being able to work around the uh, Intimidate it's going to have to deal with, I still think it's going to be not as used as male Basket Legion. Uh, but if you were to run like a set, I think that Choice Spec Swift Swim is actually probably going to be your best bet. It's not able to be flinched, so you get a lot of damage right off the bat. If we go ahead and throw this Basket Legion in there, just Specs, uh, and let's say that you're going up against a, I don't know, what's a good example? Let's go with like Urshifu Rapid Strike. Um, like that's like a solid Pokemon that like is resisted, but it doesn't have a good special defense stat. If you want to throw off a Hydro Pump in the rain, you're doing like 75%, which is really, really nice. Your Shadow Ball is also doing like 73%, so you want a Shadow Ball like most of the time. So yeah, two shotting Urshifu Rapid Strike with a neutral hit and choice specs is actually pretty decent, especially considering your special attack stat is only 100 um, Regieleki is another Pokemon that you're going to want to make sure you can one-shot. And while you, it's, it's a roll to one-shot with, um, with Shadow Ball, I, I, I don't know. It, I don't know if you would want to do that. Um, Hydro Pump's like slightly safer, 68% chance. I don't know. It's probably Focus Sash anyway. So I guess if you like Fake Out and Shadow Ball, that's fine. That's pretty nice. Um, I do recommend you actually run Terra Blast, uh, Grass on this set because it is lacking in special attacks that are actually really good. So being able to have that grass coverage um, and use like utilizing your bulk with um, a situationally better defensive typing is pretty good. If you terrestrialize here into a grass type, it is like the same roll to KO Regieleki and you're no longer getting one shot by Thunderbolt or anything, which by the way, I do need to point something out. Regieleki 
I don't know if you know this. It got nerfed. It got nerfed. I want to make a whole video about this, but Reggie Drago did not. Very big. They usually don't do that. They usually don't do that. Um, in the words of Thunder Blunder or Blunder, that's called equity, baby. Anyways, so uh, yeah, so Basket Legion female, probably not the best. Uh, I do think that it is solid into a lot of things. The genies obviously don't want to eat a hit from this thing. You know, uh, Thunderous, just bulky prankster set from Ice Beam is actually going to be taking 82%. If the rain is active and you're terastalized, or not terastalized, if the rain is active, your hydro pump will one shot some bulkier thunderous if they're not invested a lot into the special defense stat, but it does take quite a bit. So I think that is one niche, but it sort of hits that like iron bundle situation where it's like, yeah, if I hit this hydro pump turn one, I win, but if I miss, I lose. Like that's that's not too great. Uh, Tornadus is being used quite a bit nowadays. Uh, so Ice Beam is a, a decent move into that since they don't tend to run a lot of bulk. You'll be able to one shot it with that set. Uh, and obviously Enamorous. Enamorous is a set, uh, is a Pokemon that's picking up quite a bit. One Shang Enamorous is actually very nice. So uh, that's a use case for this thing. Similar set, uh, I would say, uh, with the Life Orb. I, it's literally the exact same EVs, but I put it into Special Attack instead. It does the same thing. It doesn't pick up as much KOs. I actually think that Choice Specs is a better option for this Pokemon, but if you really want to run Protect, this is decent. It also lets you run Icy Wind. And having an Icy Wind user faster than Regieleki under rain is actually kind of cool. Um, I, I think that's like a, a niche that uh, this thing's going to have that is uh, something that you have to respect. So yeah, uh, I don't really want to go too in-depth with that. Let's talk about partners. So partners I would recommend for this are actually going to be Pelipper, obviously, because it has access to Drizzle, but also has access to Tailwind, uh, Helping Hand. Wide Guard is actually really nice because Regieleki will sometimes get really greedy and want to go for that Electroweb. Uh, so being able to just, you know, block that entirely is really good, considering you do need to go for Wave Crash into Aqua Jet or two Aqua Jets to uh, KO Reggie like you with a Focus Sash. That is quite nice. I think Thunderous is actually going to be one of the best partners for this thing because it does have access to Wild Bolt Storm, which is 100% accurate into rain, and also Rain Dance itself with Prankster, meaning that you can actually lead off with like a Covert Cloak Thunderous, Rain Dance, Wild Bolt Storm, put like Taunt on it, and then your last move is basically whatever you need. I think Thunder Wave is actually quite good. Uh, so that, that is like a really nice set. Tornadus does kind of the same thing, except it's just like an alternative Tailwind uh, user. You still have access to Rain Dance, which is nice. You would actually use Bleak Wind Storm, um, which is really good. That 30% chance to lower the foe speed by one stage is really important when you have like Tailwind Wars. So uh, Tornadus does become very, very useful in this format. However, you could also just run Hurricane if you really need to. It also does have, you know, access to Taunt and everything. So that is an option. Rillaboom, I would say, is arguably one of the most important partners. Being able to resist Regieleki and take it on pretty reliably, especially with that Grassy Surge, you're going to be able to recover off some health um, on your wave crashes and stuff with your Basket Legion at the end of each turn. Has access to Fake Out, uh, not Uproar. It does have Uproar, but you don't want to use it. Fake Out, U-Turn, uh, Wood Hammer, I would say, is optimal, but you could also run... Ooh, wait... I just thought of something. Drum beating might actually be optimal as like a set. Maybe you could run wood hammer and drum beating or maybe like drum beating knockoff. But what this would actually allow you to do is slow down opponents under tailwind, which is really big. Wait, hold on. I might have to look into that. But yeah, that's that's like a really good partner for this too. Um, and finally, I would say like one of the partners that I think will pop off with it quite a bit is Chen Pao. Chen Pao on rain teams is actually really decent, especially next to Palafin. But with uh, this Pokemon in particular, being able to get things in range of like other KOs is, is really nice. So if we were to take a look at the um, Basket Legion Life Orb set um, and activate like Tablets of Ruin, right? Or not Tablets of Ruin. If we were to activate Sword of Ruin and bring up that Rillaboom again, Assault Vest Rillaboom, let's say you want to like, obviously, you know, in most cases you would just Icicle Crash or uh, Ice Spinner the Rillaboom. Uh, but let's say you want to swap in this thing next to the Basket Legion and go for like a sort of a surprise KO. With Tablets of Ruin active um, in the rain, or not Tablets of Ruin, with a Sword of Ruin active in the rain, you actually do quite a bit more damage, and that is, that's like really respectable. So yeah, uh, this would also be able to deal with opposing Thunderous and stuff, which is really nice for Basket Legion. So yeah, uh, that's going to be my recommendation for Basket Legion movesets. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Uh, obviously, you know, comment down below what other Pokemon you want me to cover, and yeah. Uh, I might switch over to something other than Showdown. I might do like my old slides like I did the beginning of the generation, but that does take a while to make. And honestly, with how many moveset guides I'm going to be doing in the next couple of days, I don't know if I want to do that. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.